He entered our story. He chose to be one of us. From a throne to a stable, from a crown to a cradle, He chose to be one of us. In this world built by hands of grace, we are children of a loving God, called to live as His own, trusting and simple in a father-child relationship believing His words and following His way. But from the beginning, our first temptation has remained the greatest. To grab for the glory, to make the power play, to seize the authority reserved for God alone. How could God hope to show us the beauty and simplicity of His plan? How could He convince us that each life lived as it was designed to be lived is pure miracle? Almighty God, who created the planets, the stars, and the galaxies, came down into one small world, our world, and called it home. He who had thrown lightning bolts against the sky and carved out rugged mountain ranges with his fingers slipped silently into our midst in the small, smooth body of a baby. He came to us as one of us, and we called his name Jesus.
as we see signs of the season, decorations and preparations for gatherings of every kind. Do you ever stop to wonder what all of it has to do with a baby boy born 2,000 years ago? Jesus came to earth to bring his light to the darkness. He came to know each of us who yearns to be known. He came to be a friend to children and a companion to old people, to care as a brother and to rescue as a savior. Jesus came as one of us. Jesus knew what it was to laugh and cry, to hope and hurt. He came into this world with all of its beauty and tragedy, all of its truth and lies. He came seeking us. He came to bridge the gap of loneliness and separation each one of us feels. Jesus created a shimmering hope, an awesome possibility that all of us might someday be one with him and one with each other. This is the spirit of love and power at the heart of the holiday we celebrate.
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of men. Joseph went up from Nazareth in Galilee to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, along with Mary, his betrothed, who was great with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and she wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn.
And in the same region there were shepherds, staying out in the fields at night, watching their flocks. And an angel of the Lord suddenly stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were afraid. But the angel said to them, Fear not, for I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all the people. For today in the city of David a Savior has been born, and He is Christ the Lord. to look for a sign, a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Then the angels ascended, glorifying God and praising Him in the highest. After the angels had gone, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing which the Lord has made known to us. So they hurried on their way and were amazed to find Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger, just as the angel had said. Wow. 
diverse group of worshipers were drawn to the manger to adore the newborn holy child. Peasants and kings, young and old, sinners and saints. But they were just a foreshadowing of the millions who would one day surrender their hearts to this one who would be king. People from all walks of life, from the lowest to the highest born, would choose to bow before him and worship him as Lord. Princes and paupers, sons and daughters, kneel at the throne of grace. Losers and winners, saints and sinners, one day we'll see his face. Kings will surrender 
And still they come today. One by one they come. By the hundreds and thousands and millions they come. From every part of the world. From every walk of life. Seeking the one who came seeking us. Some bring broken and needy lives and lay them down before Jesus. Some bring lives filled with worldly success that have proved hollow, even in their power and affluence. And so they come to the one who is one of us, hoping against hope that he will be the answer. I have come from so
Oh Lord, we praise you for coming to earth as one of us. We thank you for building a bridge from our sinfulness to your Father's heart. We come now, confessing our sins and receiving the new beginning that you died to give us. Be the Lord of our life, Jesus. We ask this in your awesome and powerful name. Amen.
The joy of Christmas is saying yes to Jesus, the one who came to be one of us, the one who was born as a child, who lived as a man, who died as a savior, and was raised to life as our eternal king. As we leave this celebration, let's go out as his ambassadors, each one of us. Let's carry the wonder, the power, and the indwelling light of his amazing love into this world that he came to save.